All right, guys, let's go ahead and shoot one, okay? Inclusion Films is a practical film workshop that takes adults with developmental disabilities through the whole process of making a film. We teach technical skills, life skills, social skills through the art of filmmaking. We're just setting up the lights right now and we're trying to get this scene ready. What I want them to come away with is a, a sense of self. I want them to be confident to go out into the world. I want them to be comfortable wherever they go. Fight on the set, this is for picture. Roll sound, roll camera, and mark it. And action. Okay, welcome to Inclusion Short Films. You guys are gonna pitch me three different stories. I'm gonna approve one of them. That will go on our new TV show, Inclusion Short Films, that is gonna be on Cox Communication. And I'm looking forward to the first pitch of the day. So tell me your name and then pitch away. My name is uh, Abel Castillo, and what I have for you is a psychological thriller. It starts off in a dark, rainy forest, and we see our protagonist wake up in, in a haze. He stumbles around in the dark looking for shelter, and after a while, he comes up to a log cabin. He comes up to the living room, he sees a mirror, and he notices at, at the, out of the corner of his eye, he looks over, and he sees himself. And this uh, ghost kind of taunts him for a while because the ghost knows something that the protagonist doesn't. He point, he look, look under that rug. He, when he looks under the rug, he sees a pile of old bloodied bones. And that's when it hits him. And that's where he killed his victims, in that log cabin. He's the serial killer. Yes, he's the serial killer. Okay, well, thank you. Very good job pitching the story. And uh, uh, we'll be right back after this commercial break. Good job. Thank you. Okay, and welcome back to Inclusion Shorts. We're gonna have our second pitch. So please tell me your name and pitch away. Um, Emily Hudson. In this detective story, they all investigating this, the case of the model of Audrey Munwell. It's like they ask everyone who they come in contact with for clues and evidence. Is there any scenes at a bar? Because all these well, gumshoes, they always As interesting as that would be, there was no drinking. Oh, okay. Do you mind if I have a drink while you're pitching? <laughs> I, no, I'm kidding. How, how does she get murdered? Well, I'm thinking she stabbed to death. Oh, like, yeah. okay. Did, <laughs> did you just think of that? <laughs> Maybe. By was all, she not liked? No, that's the thing. She was loved. A lot of people love okay. her, but for some odd reason, people think this so-and-so in it when it wasn't at all true. All right, well, um, you did a fine uh, job pitching, and uh, two is down, three is up right after this break. Okay, welcome back to Inclusion Short Films and we're gonna have our last pitch of the day. Please uh, tell me your name. My name is Benjamin Fink. The story begins with a bully. He sees a homeless person. He basically taunts this person, but he doesn't realize that he just walked into the street and then, then gets hit by a car. And that's when he realizes He's a ghost. And this homeless person shows Keith two futures. One is that he is a bum. Now, there is another future that's better. He's changed his ways, he's a different person. Right then, you could actually kind of sense that he has changed. That's All the right. end of my pitch. All right, so I am gonna have to make a decision. I will let you guys know because I have to really think hard about it because the three pitches were really done well. How about instead of being a good future, how about it's an uncertain? Like he stops bullying, he stops, he stops being mean, he stops all of these, but the path, but the second path in front of him is still uncertain. 
That's what I'm saying. You have to at least establish that we see him watching himself, and then we'll know that he's still stuck in the cycle of jazz, not that he's walked out. Um, okay, so we're doing the casting process now, so let's see the next actor on the list. My name is Joshua Michael. Hey, Paul, yo. You know that you have to get school wolves for you to be in the classroom by yourself. I feel sorry for your parents. Hey, man, what the, what the heck? That's my sandwich. Give it back. Okay, and cut. <laughs> <laughs> he almost he, said an F bomb. No, 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 he doesn't curse. I know. Our casting is now final on our movie. All of you were good. All of you did great, great auditions. It's always very difficult to pick, believe me. Um, the part of Keith, and this was very difficult. We went around and around with this one. And that is Jacob Sacred. <laughs> You guys get uh, the three 650s and put them just right next to each other, right here. All right, so what we're here doing is we're doing the shot at Frank's. So this is where Keith comes in, grabs some bread, and then like takes the sandwich and mess with the um, people he's bullied with. So right now we're setting up to make it look like as if this was a cabin, as if it's a lunch area. I'm making a sign for the daily specials that they're gonna have there. How you doing, Uncle Frank? Hey, hey. Hey, man. Why are you being such a creep? Why do you have to be like that? Like what? Don't play dumb with me. Hey, where are you going? <laughs> and cut. So it's day three. We're filming inside this restaurant. This is Uncle Frank's Pizza. Uh, we're halfway done with our scene right before um, right before Keith walks outside and gets hit by a car. I'm hungry. Could you buy me a sandwich, please? Sorry, I don't have enough for bums. Can't welfare take care of that for you? Uh, so today we're doing a little bit of a a um, mock-up stunt, if you will. It's not really a stunt because we're not really having someone get hit by a car. We're doing a reverse stunt, what we call. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna have him on, somewhat on the ground first, feeding up onto the bumper and the grill of the car, and then slowly standing up, and then the car's gonna go in reverse. Okay, let's move on. Now, here's the deal. Hall Ambulance is bringing their ambulance. Maybe we can get a shot or two off inside, because outside it's just going to be a crowd around the ambulance with the, with the lights on. Revelation is the story of a young man named Keith, played by myself. Whilst going about his usual bullying self, gets hit by a car and has this out-of-body experience in which he's, in a sense, shown the error of his ways and given the opportunity to change. I hate when that happens. You can see me? I'm the only one who can see you. So I, I go to her, try to get some answers as to what's happening to me, and then we uh, go on this little journey through uh, my life and see how much of a terrible person I've been. All right, this is uh, four five, take one of Revelation. I'm here to show you the truth about yourself. We now. Okay, so um, we're here at the Maya Cinema. Scene 10, take two. Mark it. So we have several scenes that we need to shoot with uh, Jasmine and uh, Keith. But Jasmine, the angel, kind of shows Keith how he's been in the past by running it on the screen and letting him see firsthand what, what he looks like and how bad of a guy he is. Hi, I'm Nick Ono. Nick Ono is a phenomenal choreographer here in Bakersfield. So as you come through, right? Just turn your body and you're already here. Right? Don't back. Boom. Then go in. Yeah? So it's right? You don't want to get caught. Back. Boom. In it. There you go. Right? Reset. Boom. Yeah, that's fine. Boom. Go for it. Alright, let's go ahead and do a rehearsal for camera. What's going on here? Oh, what do we got here? Well oh, guard. Oh! What I've learned out here at uh, Inclusion Films Bakersfield, how to work with others, and just how to work as part of a team. 
being healed through experiences alone, that has definitely helped me big time. It's, I'm actually able to say hi to people now without even hesitating. I like the arts that the, that the actors perform. That kind of inspired me to become an actor. He is such an a-hole. That's why nobody likes him at school. You watch your mouth. You just get it, you know? If you've been on enough shoots, you get it. You, you just get the right mindset, and you, it's just more of, you just react to it. We're preparing our students and prepping them to actually work in the film industry. So by the end of the two years that they're here, they have all the skills, all the soft skills, to go out in life and conduct themselves uh, as an adult in any industry, but certainly the film industry. They're coming together and they're making big production value and they're making it work and making a film and doing really well. And they're really good at what they do.